Star Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Greetings and salutations, guys. It is Wednesday, October. Why do I always say October? By the end of the month, I will be saying November, and then it will be December. It is November 12th, and today, um, I was kind of dumb, and I didn't realize some things, so, uh, ooh, hello, eggs. Eggs are good. Eggs, eggs are very good. Why do we have multiple chickens? Okay, we have another baby chicken. That's weird. Okay. Pretty sure I only bred them twice. Oh, well. Maybe they, bre maybe they breed on their own accord now. Alright, so what I'm going to do today is teach you how to farm. You'll see I got rid of our uh, little thing here. Anyway, let us... We're going to set up a farm back here. So how this is going to work is we need... You need water, you need seeds, and you need a hoe. And then eventually we'll set up... This is, I'm just going to do weed farming today, but we'll do other ones later. So how this works is first... There are many different ways you can do this. Um, this is the most efficient way that I personally think there is to farm. Now, again, this is my own opinion. There are lots of different again, there are lots of different ways you can do this, and everyone has their own opinion on it. So, um, I have seen many, many ways, but in order to make this "quote unquote" pretty. I'm gonna do it like this. So we're gonna chop down a few trees. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to make a hoe. And I know that sounds dirty and I apologize, but uh, we did this in my very first video, but for those of you who need a reminder, you make a hoe by doing this stick stick and then stone wood iron gold whatever and then you just do the top two and you get a hoe so I'm gonna use up my wooden one right now now the reason I am chopping these down right now is just purely for aesthetics um, I'm not doing this for any other reason but I want to make this pretty So ideally you're going to want a bucket of water, um, honestly though you're probably going to want two, um, it'll just make it easier and I will show you how we do this. Okay, that, yeah, 31, let's do a little bit more. I'm only going to do one row, uh, maybe two, we'll see see how long the rows are. Okay, so that should be good. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Whee! Oh, there's a cave there. Sweet. I'll have to check that out later. Alright, so what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm just going to break all this grass down, because it's all, all it's doing is getting in my way and making me angry. Alright, so... Oh, and let's get rid of some of this, too. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab these. I don't think I'll need my sword, but it's always better to be safe. Okay, so, we're going to do this. We're going to have wheat, water, Wheat. Yeah, we'll do two rows. And now we need dirt. Now, like I said, there are many ways, and I'm sure there's a more efficient way. This is the easiest way that I have found to do it. And the only reason for that is it's because it's just it's 
easy. So next thing we're going to need is to get our water situated. So let's grab, move our dirt and we're going to grab the water. We're going to do this. Let's see, grabbing that. Yeah, not quite. So yeah, a second one, a second bucket, or if you have water nearby, just grab another one. Ooh. And uh, I know I said that I would be, that today's video was going to be more about uh, putting more, making more farms for animals. Um, the problem with that is I didn't realize I need carrots for some of them, and I haven't found carrot seeds yet, or actual carrots, so that's not going to be a possibility right now. So all you're going to do is you're just going to grab the spawn, the water spawn point, and then you're just going to fill in the whole thing until it's completely full of water. And the only, the reason that I don't just like go every single block is you can get two um, within, if you go water spawn and then not a water spawn for blocks. So if we did a water spawn here, then nothing, and then a water spawn here, this one would fill in because they're close enough together. Then you can usually skip a, you can usually skip another one and go in. Then you can just pull from the previous one. And if you pull from the middle, it'll create like a, a flat water point, not a running water point. So you can pull water from it, but it'll still even out. Nothing very technical about it, it's just a little tricky until you get the hang of it. Um, so we have this, and now we're going to farm. So how you farm is you take your hoe and you right click on the dirt. And if it is not wet, it will be... Hmm, that's not going to work. I'm trying to find... It should, in theory... Yeah, so it should, in theory... Yeah, so see, these are darkening. That's because there's water nearby. So these will darken up as well as we go. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take the seeds and you're going to right click on top of the hoed dirt. You can see it doesn't work on regular ones, but it works on the other ones. Now, I don't know why, but apparently grass can make wheat. This is this was news to me as well, but this is Minecraft, so we don't really pay too much attention to rules. And the good news is as long as you keep these hydrated and you don't walk over them while there's seeds on them, they will not lose their hoedness. They'll, they'll still remain tilled even if you stop, even if there's nothing on them. As long as, as, as long as there's seeds on them and you don't walk over them while they're untilled, they'll stay, um, generally. So you don't have to worry about having to re-hoe them or re-till them, I guess is the better phrase every single time. So this is going to grow and it's going to take a few days, but this is where it is very, so you can see if I walk over them, They stop becoming well, generally that's what happens but yeah if you walk over them generally they'll become untilled detailed mm, detailed okay so I'm going to show you quickly how to speed this oh <gasps> we have adult chickens now chicken and we have eggs eggs are good okay so we're gonna do some breeding so you and you and you and you and you. you. More baby chickens. And like I said, they do give experience, which is very, very nice. So yeah. Alright, and then this is a very handy trick. So there are a couple of things you can use bones for, but the main thing that I usually use them for oh, and long, um, is to speed up growing. So you can use them for dye if you want to dye things light gray or dark gray. You need a, as kind of like a base for the grays for dyeing. Um, but I will show you quickly how to do this. So you can see this one's already growing, a couple of them are already growing a bit faster. It's just, it's kind of random. Um, I'm sure that's actually not, but I don't actually legitimately know what the actual pattern is. So I'm just going to fill this back up with water and we're going to take bones. So the bones, you turn into bone meal. You don't actually use bones for anything unless you're like training dogs or you're wanted to like um, make, give dogs little hearts so they start following you. So you use this bone meal, and things grow. You can use it on saplings. You can use it on seeds. Use it on a lot of things. So we just do this. And you can see, now this one is done. And so the wheat is done when it goes brown. I'm just gonna use all this up. And I'm gonna show you what we can do with wheat. And then, yeah, you can't like, you can see I'm still at 21 even though I'm clicking, so it doesn't let you like max them out entirely. And all this does is just speed it up by like a certain percentage. I don't know the exact percentage, so we are done. So we're just going to take our fist, 
and you can see I'm running over them so I'm gonna lose I probably will lose the tilling on some of them if I ran over them unless they fixed it they may have fixed it sometimes they do that it's getting dark out so we're just gonna do this quickly and then if you need to you can always just pop in the water if you lost so there's I lost some seeds in there and it's going to be nighttime so that's how this works I will show you sugar cane maybe next time. I need to find some carrots. I don't know where I'm going to find that yet. Maybe we'll have to go back to the scary, scary fortress. Okay, so to make for wheat, this is what you use wheat for. You can make bread. Hey, we got the achievement. Um, you can use bread to make cake if you have eggs and sugar and milk. Milk, you have to take buckets and click on cows because apparently all cows are female. Um, but yeah, that's how that works. So. Um, I will once we get the ingredients, I'll show you how to make other stuff. You can make chocolate chip cookies with them as well, but you need cocoa beans, which I don't think we got. Now I'm trying to remember, did we get cocoa beans? I don't think we got cocoa beans. No, we did not. Okay, so das is it. Apparently, I turn German when I'm nervous. Okay, anyway, so that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you know the deal. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.